what a great shot that is. They are side by side, all in the slipstream of Psycho saying, who looks like he's getting away scot free at the moment. No! Lopez dives! And he's spun! He's fine, he's come recovered. He will drop to the back of this pack, but he has managed to keep the car on the right. What can I say? He has saved that like David Seaman for Great Britain. That was incredible. You can't play for Great Britain as a football team, it doesn't exist. Folks, we are here in Mexico. It is uh, really heating up in the uh, championship now, of course. Toxic Tomato equaled the record for most consecutive victories last time out. Can he take the crown of uh, most consecutive victories this time out in Mexico? We're on board with Mayer now in the half. He's warming up his tyres. Mayer has been a bit intermittent throughout the start of this championship due to the fact that he's been called up to military service in Switzerland. Not something you thought many people would say considering they are a rather neutral country, but it does happen. You have to perform that. But now he's performing for us out on track. Uh, then you are out on track. Uh, how are you feeling about strategy, laps, the weather? What's going on? Um, well, weather, um, even though it is overcast, it will not rain in qualifying. Uh, and unfortunately for those wanting a bit of rain, it's not going to do so in the race either. It's uh, cloudy in both sessions. Um, the What am I feeling in terms of strategy? Um, well, after last week's disaster in Bahrain, where I did a two-stop, um, I'm probably going to lean towards a one-stop here, but a two-stop is doable. Um, yeah, 36 laps, so it, it, it's quite a lot, even though it is a fairly short track, so... Um, yeah, th but 36 laps is quite a lot, so we'll see. I think there'll be a mixture of one and two stoppers. It's an interesting point. Uh, as Mainer crosses the line to go 117.5 on the hard side, then DJ Marshall goes half a second faster than him on the medium side, but then Nova Vest comes along and smashes them both with a 115.3 on the soft side. So we've already had all three possible tyres used by the first three guys across the line. And Nova Vest and Gilzo there, separated by three tenths with Toxic Tomato. The times are rolling in, lads. It's like they've all queued up to go around together. They are, mate. Three seconds separate pretty much the back and the front end of the grid currently. Let's go aboard with Ben. Let, oh, um, it's just... Ben, you've just driven through the, the corner marker there. Yeah, I validated this lap on the first corner. Uh, not a great start for our Renault driver. Of course, his teammate leading the way scored 101 points out of 104 points. Um... Of course, if you then take qualifying into perspective, that's another four points because we do reward a point for pole position here at the late breaking online racing league as we do a fastest lap, just like in real life. And the points are exactly the same, running down from 25 for first all the way down to one point for tenth. Well, speaking of Kangs, he's our season one champion. And if we bring up the points table, you'll see that he currently sits in 12th place with just 14 points. The point spread this year is quite large. The, uh, the top man, Toxic Tomato, he's on 101 points. He, of course, has taken four wins out of four. Uh, two spell wizard, he's just in behind. He was our championship leader on 85 points. And then joint third place at the moment, Psycho Sanger Lopez Matis Fly, both on 79 points. So the championship's still all there to play for. We are only in round seven of a possible 21 races. So it's got plenty of points to be scored. You never know what's going to happen in the late breaking online racing league. There is always drama. So hopefully next week, folks, we'll get the full 20. Of course, uh, Caesar is off to get married in about a month. So he will be disappearing. Maybe a spot opening. Who knows? Um, but that was saying is we'll definitely be down a driver and looking to struggle in the constructors. Ben! 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 Ben, mate, you've, you, you're missing a, a wheel there! Yeah, I, to be honest, I nearly did it like twice before I did that. Gilzo! Gilzo goes pole with a 115.1, 0.07 faster than Heskey on the soft tyre. He's got seven minutes to get back round and see if he can do another lap because there will be competition for the rest of the grid. But what a lap from the man that loves your living a bin. DJ Marshall has popped it into fourth, and you're right, Harry, the section is... Oh, D DJ... He's gone, I popped it into fourth, now I'm going to drive wreck... His helmet's mental! Look at his helmet! That is crazy! Love that. Mental from D. Jumping four, three tenths off a pole currently on the soft tyre, but a lot of ferocious components... Components? Opponents 
to come through the ranks. Let's see if he can stay there, or if the likes of Toxic, Two Spell, Psycho Saiyan, Caesar, Khans can all jump in. We'll have to see. It's all very tight at the front at the moment. That is an identical time to Heskey on the soft tyre. So first is a 115.1, second is 0 0.07 seconds away, third 0 0.07 seconds away. That is ridiculously close from the top three. Of course, Toxic has the advantage by being on the medium tyres. And Psycho Sane goes into pole position on the soft tyre, the 115 dead. That is astounding. You love to see it. And the man who we're talking about getting into fourth, DJ Marshall, he's now dropped down to sick. And here comes Two Spell Wizard, who's also four and a half tenths up going through the middle sector. Yeah, the man can pull something out of the bag if things go well for him. Although this season hasn't been going that way currently. Maybe he just hasn't found his form with the new game mechanics and the way it's working. But he is pushing that car. I wonder if he's invalidating his lap because it's gone to outlap now on our little thing down there. But he's still going for it. ERS is still up to five. Will he finish his lap? If so, can he get himself out of the penultimate last place on the grid? Coming across the line, he improves to pole! A 114.7 on the soft tyre, three tenths faster than Psycho saying That is a great lap from the Mercedes driver. The man also on a lap who's just gone really wide as well as Heskey. That could be all over for him. He's half a second down now. Lopez is actually a tenth up on his uh, second sector split time. Can he improve? I don't think he can. No, no improve for Lopez either. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough for Toxic. Crosses the line. He goes pole! It's a 114.3. Three tenths but in front of Caesar. And he had traffic on the lap. That is ridiculous, folks. That's it, qualifying. Toxic is your pole man, with Caesar and Psycho saying, lining up behind him. So here we are folks, the start of round 7, the race, we're on the formation lap and there is the Renault, the championship leader of Toxic Tomato 55389, catching, leading us away on this grid. He has done all he needs to do to start off the hunt for the longest winning streak possible. Right behind him is the man that holds the other one, the, the joint record, Caesar. Third is Psycho saying he's looking to gain points in the championship fight. And behind him, the man that returns, the man that always features in a being, it's Gilzo. We know he's got pace, let's hope that maybe he can finish on the podium and impress. Heskey behind him in fifth. He's on the soft tyre as long as, as well as going with Vest and DJ Marshall. Actually saying that, all of the top ten, apart from the Pretty Boy Khans, are on the, uh, the, the soft tyre. Two Spell Wizard, he's in 11. Purple Petrol, he's in 12. The Hangar's 13, starting on the mediums. Nelly's joining him on the mediums in 14. Mainer, he's in 15. And it looks like Bullet Boy hasn't been able to get back in. With both Ben Hocking in the other Renault, right to the back of the grid. He only managed to start the race on hard tyres. As we see the red, red lights build. 3, 4, 5. The Mexicans say, Arriba! Lights out and away we go! Toxic Tomato leads them off the line. Caesar gets a poor start. And Psycho saying it's already past them. As Gilzo looks to slipstream Toxic as well. Heskey moves up. He's alongside and We've got cars four or five wide. The packs are flying towards turn one. There's contact many times. And that's Heskey round contact there with the Haas car. Several cars get through on the skate though. DJ Marshall up one. Two spells up six places. He's done well. Ben's also up six places. A great start for him. And the front six have gone away nicely. Toxic Tomato has had the perfect start to this race. A two second lead and he is away from the pack. No slipstream available for him as we're on board with Gilzo who is right behind Caesar looking to size up Psycho Sane. Can anything be done into turn one? No, Psycho Sane just gets far enough ahead that there's no issues there. And it looks like all stays set. Although Heskey and Khan's fighting. Ben picks up another place there. Ben picking up all the scraps as he's up from the back of the grid up into 10th and now scoring points. Carnes falls down to 13th place and is now fighting alongside. Nova there looking to capitalise on that issue. Gilzo runs wide through the first couple of corners. That might open the door for both Lopez and Two Spell. Of course, Lopez wants us to give a shout out to him being the only American in the race and looking to do some damage here at one of his closest Grand Prix. Of course, there is a. Uh, a Grand Prix in Texas, but Mexico is his, his next door neighbour and he wants to show off his stuff here as he's fighting away with second place in the championship man, two spell wizard, Ferrari v Alpha of course, the kind of father and son of Italian racing. We'll see who comes out on top throughout the race. Then runs wide again through that corner and now has cars right on the back of him. Hard tyres v medium, so cars will have the advantage as he looks around the outside 
and gets the move done. A little bit off the trap there, but he's uh, he's got it done. As Nenez picks up a three-second time penalty. They start to roll in, folks. Gilzo is right on the back of Caesar. DRS over for those drivers, apart from Psycho saying he's looking vulnerable. Caesar looked to the inside and thought better of it, but the, these uh, second, third, and fourth battles separating by less than half a second now. And DJ Marshall is battling away with uh, with Heskey. DJ Marshall gets the corner all wrong. He's all out of sorts. Heskey almost is alongside him on the out exit of the corner. DRS is open for both of them. Oh, no, I think DJ Marshall's just got Heskey, actually, because he had DRS. DJ Marshall up to seventh and carries on in the place that he started the racing. Oh, and on Gilzo and... Tuspel was side by side through the middle sector. Gills has gone off and picked up a three second time penalty. They are all running so close together this round. If you took Toxic out of it, the race for the win would be unreal. But we are getting a race for second place currently. All of these guys are in contention for it. And also, DJ Marshall and Heskey still separated by less than a second. Oh, Booty Boy has also joined onto the back of that train. I think Gilzo's tyres are really struggling. He's losing a lot of time to underskid through this middle sector. And Caesar is right alongside Psycho Saint now as we go into the same section. And the same for two spell and Gilzo. They're too wide and too wide. That was art style. And currently the two that were in front are staying in front. But Caesar looks to snatch second place away from Psycho Saint. And he does it around the outside. He might be compromised on the run down at turn one now. And Gilzo is also incredibly close. Two spell is already alongside the Torosso driver. Caesar defending half from Psycho saying, and Gilzo defending half from Two Spell. Lopez has turned everything down. He knows what to get involved right now. They've all made it through. Gilzo drops to the back. Lopez picks up a place. Caesar drops even further back. Two Spell through. Psycho saying regains second place. So your order now, after all that carnage, currently is Psycho saying Two Spell, Lopez, Caesar, Gilzo, but they're still fighting into turn four. Caesar, the man that was looking to fight for second place, is now fighting with Lopez over fourth. And the pair of them can't seem to keep up with Psycho Sang and Two Spell, who are separated by less than four tenths of a second as we go. Oh, and Lopez looking to do the undercut as he pulls into the pit lane first. Let's count it through, folks. Two Spell is one, Psycho Sang is two, Caesar is three, Gildo is four, Hapuri Boy is five, DJ Marshall is six, Jahangas is seven. This is a seven car fight for seventh place. Toxic Tomato, though, 11 seconds out front. Here we go, Beng's gaining. He is gaining, he pulls to the inside, and it's like a breeze, as if Carnes is standing still. Ben pulls past nicely, and they both got to look out, because Carnes' teammate, Lopez, is coming up behind the pair of them, all fresh medium tyres. So that could be an interesting battle that's about to occur. Psycho saying is struggling so much through the middle sector, and Hapuli Boy now, all over the Red Bull driver. A move could be made going into the stadium section. Oh, he breaks it, there's contact! He's hit, Psycho saying! Will he back out to let him have the position? No, Habuli Boy takes it anyway. That is so. Caesar's into the pits. Caesar's into the pits. Two, oh, so is Toxic. And Toosville takes the provisional lead of this race. Of course, with an 11-second gap, we think that Toxic will be able to take that back quite easily. And Yahan is now right on the back of Psycho Say. He's on the medium side. Psycho Say on the soft. His tires are becoming more into it now. As he breaks late into turn one. Habuli Boy locks up in front. That'll be distracting. But Psycho Saint goes from what was second place, now down to a possible fifth, sixth or seventh, depending on where the cars that are pitted come out when he pits. Just a quick note for those that are pitting, Lopez has managed to come out comfortably in front of Caesar and Purple Petrol. Oh no, that was the Purple Petrol, and Gilzo, sorry. Uh, but Lopez, you're right, Harry, could be two stopping. On board with Toxic, he gets so oh, Toxic's on the soft tyre. Toxic is two-stopping. That could be interesting because two-spell is going to one-stop this race. Caesar looking to do the one-stop and not follow Toxic or Lopez's footsteps. Or will, will Marks. They don't walk in Formula 1 cars. Cars runs a little wide again through that middle sector, slow corner. And Caesar looks to go down the inside. Season two jump. He's season one jump. One could look like a chump, let alone a champ at this rate if something goes wrong. And Toxic Tomato is now 1.4 seconds away from our current race leader 2 spell, who go dives into the pit, so we'll keep an eye on what side he goes on to. If he goes onto the hard, he's definitely going to the end. Caesar is right on the back of Ben, who is now starting to drive around on quite old hard tyres. I imagine he's probably on 40% wear by now, 
maybe 50% where he'll have to be coming in maybe in the next five or six laps, maybe, maybe, maybe 10 laps to do 11 laps on the softs. But Caesar is on his way, he's got the lasso out, he's wrapped it around Ben's rear wing and he's putting him in, he's released it, he'll see you later Ben, as he slides down on the inside to take what is now 6th place, and Lopez picks up a time penalty. Neles comes into the pit lane from 4th place and that releases Lopez, he moves up another spot. Now the next man to attack Hocking in the Renault is Johannes on the fresh hard tyres. And here he comes on the start of finger stroke. DRS over for both cars, so a little trickier for your hangers, as Ben managed to pick it up off Gilzo. He's still gaining it. Will he go for the dive into turn one? He does. They're alongside each other. Ben tries to swoop round and covers off nicely. Jumps the curb, and then your hangers does the same. Ben holds on for another couple of corners. Of course, he's in. Toxic seeing he won't lap purple petrol. And he will come out, I believe, pretty much in first or second place. He's onto the medium compound tyre, so that will comfortably take him to the end. Hang on. He's stalled in the pit lane. Oh, he's away. Okay. That was so. I reckon he'll now be jumped by both Lopez and Caesar, but I think after that it's going to be comfortable. There goes Lopez. There goes Caesar. Of course, what is interesting is that Ben and Gilzo are technically on the same strategy now uh, in terms of where they're going to come out. So Ben could get the jump on Gilzo here. There is a gap of 22 seconds between the two drivers. So if Ben can put the work in, get a shifty on, then he might be able to jump Gilzo. Lopez is in, and that releases Toxic Tomato into the race lead. And uh, we'll wrap it up here, folks. Thanks for watching very much. Toxic Tomato is your championship winner. Uh, see you next season. And remember, Gilzo's got to stop again. So he will pick up third. And here comes Two Spell Wizard. He's gone down the inside. Gilzo tries to get around the outside. There's a little bit of contact there. Gilzo comes off the inside. Two Spell drives all the way around Narnia and back. And takes second place. And Lopez has got back in front of Nelez. Right, so let's see where Gilzo comes out in relevance to Hockey and Deej and Maynard. Those are going to be the three people we expect him to be racing. What was such good pace from Gilzo has really been uh, foiled by the strategies. Lopez is the fastest man on track with a 116.8. Gilzo now heading towards the exit. Ben is on the start finish straight with DJ. There's Gilzo, he's coming out in front of him, but he won't have the speed. DJ looks to pick up the slipstream of his teammate. As Heskey picks up a time penalty. DJ lagging all over the place on the start, finish straight. Terrifying stuff. Gilzo manages to come out on front. He's on fresher tyres. He's on the softs. Say goodbye bye to Gilzo, folks. He'll be long gone. Three of the most iconic teams in Formula 1. All racing nose to tail around Mexico. Of course, those teams I'm speaking about are definitely Spiker, Manga, and Marussia. <laughs> oh dear. They're all in the slipstream. Heskey doesn't have DRS. Caesar pulls to the right hand side. Where does Lopez go? He goes to the left. And uh, Heskey goes from 6th down to 8th in one quarter, one straight. He's got nothing he can do about it. Psycho saying on very worn hard tyres, trying to stave off the threat that is Caesar. They're already alongside one another. I think Caesar backs down and Lopez goes deep. He goes down the inside of Caesar and looking around the outside of the stadium section, looking to impress what could be a lot of home fans for him here. Not to be yet. Caesar covers off and Heskey's right on the back as well. And because of all this fighting, Gilzo's getting two seconds that lap. What a great shot that is. They are side by side. All in the slipstream of Psycho Say, who looks like he's getting away scot free at the moment. No! Lopez dives! And he's spun! He's fine, he's come recovered. He will drop to the back of this pack, but he has managed to keep the car on the ground. What can I say? He has saved that like David Seaman for Great Britain. That was incredible. You can't play for Great Britain as a football team, it doesn't exist. They're, they're almost three wide in front of him. Caesar looking around the outside of Psycho saying. Cycle saying covers off well. They're too wide behind him. And Heskey goes around the outside. And Caesar down the inside. And Lopez is back in the fight again. And I think Gilzo. Yeah, Gilzo can see them all now. And Lopez already back past Heskey. And Psycho saying.
Here comes the overtakes, folks. Slipstream galore. If you're waiting on what pornography looked like, folks, this is it. Folks, also keep an eye on the main hocking battle for the final point. That's not over. Gilzo picks up a three-second time penalty. That could be disastrous for the final result. And amazingly, Toxic Tomato has got pretty much a whole pit stop now between himself and Two Spell Wizard. And there's yellow flags in sector three. Oh, purple petrol. He is round. Will he go into the pits? No, he stays out. I love Purple Petra's admiration and constant ability to just keep going. Hesky gets in front of Psycho saying, and now Gilzo is less than a second and a half behind the battle. A Poodle Boy is on much older tides as Caesar and Lopez side by side through this tight, slow section of the track. And as Caesar gets it, Lopez has to tuck in behind. And Gilzo now right on the back of Psycho saying, Yellow flag is set to one. Did you get out? What's happened there? DJ Marshall retires. Three laps from the end as well. That's devastating stuff from the driver. It looks like Caesar has... Yeah, Caesar's managed to get away a little bit from Lopez. Like he's actually on the back now of Apuli Boy. Only a second separating those guys. So the fight for fourth, well and truly on. The gap between 4th and ninth place is 3.5 seconds. They can all see each other. And there's Psycho saying and Gilzo fighting again through turns 1 and 2. Gilzo manages to stave off the threat. And Mayner and Ben fighting now. Mayner gets in front of Ben into turn 1. Lopez pushing Caesar around. Hapuri Boy just in front now. It's going to be tough for Caesar. He hasn't got that clear air. He's now got the, another car in front to deal with. While Lopez targets him. Tunnel vision engaged. They've all managed that middle sector though so well because the tyres must be starting to get hot and heavy. Hapuli Boy slow through the stadium section. He's gone wide there. Caesar desperately trying to find a way past but can't. Lopez, Caesar, Hesky and Hapuli Boy all so close together as they enter lap 34. Hapuli Boy defending to the inside. DRS opened up for everybody. Imagine the airflow through that gap. Here we go then. Caesar pulls to the inside. Lopez, he's going to go to the inside as well. He's got slipstream on Caesar. He goes for the move on one. He doesn't go as heavy into the corner as last time. And now let's pick up a time penalty. Hes Hesky can't capitalise. And Beng is still fighting hard with Mayna. Oh, it's, it's disastrous for Hapuli Boy. The man that was in fourth just passed now by Heskey, who falls down to seventh place. And Gilzo is now right on the back of that fight as well. Hapuli Boy, I think, is letting them through. Oh, that's Purple Petrol. So confusing. Yahang has picked up a three-second time penalty. That could be really devastating. Caesar is only four seconds behind him. Yeah, Heskey's going to the inside of Lopez. He's looking to get himself up into fifth place. Lopez tries to hold around the outside and does currently. Hesky goes for the cutback on one, two corners. He gets a bigger run out of turn three. DRS engaged. Pulls to the inside and Lopez there. Looks like a bit of a singing duck. Hesky up into fifth place. Lopez down to sixth. The battle over um, the kind of fifth place area is raging on. A Puli Boy and Gilzo right next to each other now as we go down towards turn one. Gilzo swoops to the outside as he got squeezed by a Puli Boy. A Puli Boy breaks late and Gilzo just gets it. There's slight contact there. If that was real life, a puncture would definitely be in question. Gilzo snatches seventh at the death. Well, folks, coming away from that for a moment, yellow flags are set to one and two. Toxic Tomato is going to cross the line to win his fifth race in a row and become the leading man for most consecutive wins in the league. Arriba! Toxic Tomato takes it, another 25 points to his name. A great race. Two Spell Wizard will cross the line in second place with Johannes able to hold on to third. Caesar has had a great recovery after a tough start. He's going to finish in fourth place. Hesky looking to catch him at the death, but it's not going to happen. He'll cross the line in fifth. Lopez will be in sixth. Gilzo will cross the line in seventh. And Saika saying in eighth with the Hibuli Boy in ninth. We'll see what penalties plays it, of course. Caesar crosses the line and jumps into the podium spot. Hesky also moves in front of Johannes. So that's a change. Johannes down a fifth. Lopez in sixth. Gilzo seventh. He's jumped by Saika saying who's up to seventh. Gilzo eighth. 
for Pony Boy Knight, and I think Mainer, yeah, will cross the line. It takes place, but I think Beng might get it on penalties. He does, Beng goes up to eighth on penalties. And that's why you keep it clean, folks. Beng goes from outside the points to gain four to his name. Another thrilling race here at the late breaking online racing league as Nelis out of petrol, crawls across the line. Oh, get us to the podium, lads. Well, folks, there you have it. Only two words can describe the last few races for Toxic, and that is pure dominance. The man is currently unstoppable. He now leads this uh, championship by a whopping, I think, 30 odd points. Two is the closest man to it, manages to finish in second, but there's still a seven point deficit lost there for him. And of course, the third man, who did well to recover and then jumped up the rankings for the penalties, Caesar joins them on the podium. Final confirmation there of what is a penalty filled race. The only man not to get a penalty is Benjamin Hocking, who managed to jump four places at the end there. Toxic first, two spell wizard second, Caesar third, that's your podium. Heskey had a great recovery, he's up to four. Johan is a great drive for 13th, all the way up to fifth. Lopez, he's in sixth, Psycho Saint seventh, and Ben did great. He looked like he was nowhere after starting from the back of the grid. He's in eighth. Gilzo dropped to ninth, and a bully will round off the top ten. Maynard, he falls to 11 due to penalties. Can't struggle with multiple times of contact. He's in 12. Now it's 13. The pretty ball, the only man to lapped, comes across the line in 14. And the two men to DNF. DJ Marshall and know the best round off the grid. Thank you for watching, folks. And remember, keep breaking late.